babe. At least try and look excited. I am. I just don't want to get too carried away until I've cleared it with Dev. Not everyone has such a kind and generous boss as Kevin. Don't worry about Dev. I've sorted it. He'll be well cool. Sounds like he's thought of everything. Hey, I'm a take charge kind of guy. Strike while the iron's hot. That's my motto. Following our lead more like. Although I suppose they do say that imitation is the greatest form of flattery. I'd have just liked some more input. Yeah, but then it wouldn't have been a surprise. Listen, I know precisely how you feel, and occasionally you've just got to say, what the heck? Trust me, a dash of spontaneity works wonders in a relationship, isn't it right, Kevin? On that note... <laughs> so... <laughs> I'll, uh, see you guys later. Okie doke. It's scary when I'm like this, I really do. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know, I ring about a million times, I leave I don't know how many messages. All I get is one rubbish text back. What are you moaning about? Cos he's still gonna meet you. Shine, he's text me. Yeah, and? Well, maybe he can't face seeing me. Maybe. He's gonna wait till he's face to face to sack us off. <laughs> Do you know how paranoid you sound? He's acting weird, all right. And you're not. How is he? Running around like a lunatic. Could not bother him then. Like it never happened. As usual, I totally overreacted. You should daft. Never mind more roughage. I need to take a chill pill. Yeah, we both do. And that's the reason why we want to take this holiday. A week away will do wonders for us. Hmm. About that, I've been thinking, and I think we'd be better served spending the money doing up the yard. This is a joke. Let me finish. All morning you've been on my case. I know, and I apologise, but after what happened to Josh... He fell over and cut his knee. Yeah, and that wouldn't have happened if we'd had some grass out there. Claire, it's the size of a postage stamp. Less is more sometimes. Imagine it. A safe play area, a few pots, some decking for a barbecue, our own little oasis. <laughs> what? Just uncanny, that hat. You sounded like you knew who then. I found that deeply offensive. Don't you dare compare me to Sally Webster. This isn't a social statement. I want this for our boys. I'm sorry. You're absolutely right to garden it is then. So I can draw up some plans? Fine, whatever you want, your boss. I'll have to cancel the holiday. There might be a charge. Well, we'll cope. Like you said, the garden's more important. I couldn't help noticing you purchased only two pilot rolls. You have one? That's nothing. <laughs> anyway, I'm sure you already know about Kyoto Treaty. That'll be four pounds eighty-six pence, please. What treaty? Surely you kid me. The Kyoto Treaty on Sustainable Resources. Well, what's that got to do with my bag roll? Everything. This soft yet deceptively strong three-ply tissue that you use so liberally is responsible for the destruction of 8% of the world's rainforest. Bummer. Get it? I hardly feel the end of civilization is a laughing matter. All right, sounds. Fortunately, your EU has seen it fit to act. As of 1st of August, all such products will be considered luxury personal goods. Soon, only rich will be able to afford such pleasure. What? What rest of us meant to use? Apparently a new type of paper made from bark, polystyrene and recycled cardboard. It has already got a slogan. Rough on your rear, kind to our sphere. Unbelievable. Do you think I should get some more? Whatever you think, prudent young sir. I am only a humble messenger. Ryan! Oh, don't worry, it's not mine. Hello, Mrs. Hobsworth. And second thoughts. Uh... What the hell is going on? I slipped on a sausage skin, tray of freshly cut all over me. Choppy, eh? Miss my jugular by whisker. I tell you what, this place is lethal sometimes. Well, now there's stuff that I'm gonna say, but with me too, for me wife. It were an accident. Close up! You've got the rest of the day off. Ashley! I don't want to argue with you. 
Now take some of them chops down to Claire and just go home. We'll deal with this tomorrow. It is exquisite. <laughs> it was John's grandma's. I'm engaged, Hayley. It's really happening. <laughs> I'm so pleased for you. <laughs> oh, it still feels like a dream. <laughs> well, just you wait till the big day. <laughs> I don't think anything could be more perfect than today. So, um, how did Chesney take the news? Oh, look, I'm sure that once he's had time I, to um, think. I haven't told him yet. I have tried, honest, I have, but I just couldn't face it. You're his sister and his guardian, Fizz. He has a right to know. Yeah, well, it's not as simple as that. The longer you leave... Hayley, he won't understand. No one will. I'm sure that's not true. I am marrying John in prison. I'm marrying him and no one, not even Chesney, is going to stop us. You can't just stand Bill up. Well, what other choices do I have? Either way, he'll be disappointed. At least this way, it'll be less painful. Be gentle, love. I can't believe I've let you talk me into this. Like, I've not got enough on the plate. It's Bill. But blinking answer it. Hey, and remember the voice. Hello? Oh, hi. Uh, just let me step out of the conference room. Hello? How are we? All set for this evening? Oh, I see. You'll have to cancel. Oh, of course I understand. Oh, well, I'm terribly sorry to hear about your broken helicopter. Uh, maybe another time. Yeah, o okay. Bye. You know what this means, don't you? He's on drugs. It means that Bill has cancelled a six-foot blonde hotshot businesswoman for a night in the Rovers with me. You hope? Hope be damned. It's fate. I knew she wasn't right for him. Molly's a planet Pam. She is you. What do you reckon? Bit loud, eh? Oh, I knew it. I'm gonna need a whole new wardrobe. Babe. Take me shopping. Well, uh, not today, eh? Oh, come on, I'm in the holiday group. You've just sprung this on me. I've got a ton of stuff to do. Yeah, but I need your fashion input. You know what I'm like. Hey, stop mithering. Let the girl get her head round it. Yeah, you're right. I just get carried away. Forgiven? Forgiven. I have boss said to give you these. I'll be off then. Why aren't you in the shop? Oh, I've been sent home. How come? Oh, I made another boo-boo. Hubby weren't best pleased. Oh. Hey, that looks interesting. Oh, just a few ideas for the backyard. We're hoping to turn it into a real garden. Cool, yeah. It's pretty small, though. Less is more sometimes. Great minds think alike. <laughs> Maybe I could pick your brain sometime. Just so, when? Um... How about now? Sure, well, I ain't got anything else to do. Even better. How on earth did you let him talk you into this? Thanks. It's what we both want. Even if it means alienating Chesney all over again. But why don't you just arrange a proper wedding for when you're both settled? No, no way. I'm not risking setting off his depression. You'll just be moving the dates. Yeah, well, he'll know something's wrong, all right? Right, up to now, I've kind of glossed over how folk have reacted to us. And if I cancel, I'm going to have to come clean. Yeah, well, that might be a blessing in disguise. No, I'm not prepared to take that chance. <sighs> OK, Hayley, right, listen, I know. I know it's not an ideal situation, but the vows are the same. You'll be in prison, Fizz. Away from your family and your friends. You'll be there. Uh, I, wa I wanted to ask you properly. I do, I do want you to be a witness. Oh, Fizz. Oh, I'm... Look, I'm really touched. Please, please, Hayley, this is the first time in my life everything's right. Which which only makes it harder for me to say no. 
look, you know that I love you like a daughter and, I, and I'd do anything not to wear you, but I can't... I can't stand at your side and listen to you making solemn vows to John while you're lying to your own brother. Disney deserves better from me than that. And no matter what he's done recently, he deserves better from you as well. I'm sorry, Fizz. I truly, I am. I, I wish the both of you every happiness. You don't mess around, do you? Dirty weekend away with the wifey, get shot of the mistress, move on like nothing ever happened. Molly. Out of sight, out of mind, is it that it? It wasn't like that, and you know it. <laughs> I don't know anything anymore. What was I supposed to do? You could have said no. You could have made up an excuse. Have you any idea how much that hurt? I thought I was doing the right thing. Taking the easy way out, more like. Easy? You haven't a clue, Molly. Not a flaming clue. <sighs> Look, when I was in prison, I learned to do the time. It was hard, but I managed to get through the days. I thought of two weeks without you. <sighs> it's going to feel like a life sentence. What are we going to do? Hmm? There's only four rolls left. Oh. Well, has there been an outbreak of E. coli that I don't know about? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Well, I take it that we haven't been raided by a pack of uh, Labrador puppies. I'll make us some chai, huh? Yeah, because by my calculations, we've seen a 2,000% sales increase in a single... Day now, what does that tell you? Uh, because our prices are too low, of course. It's simple supply and demand. Well, that depends how you're creating the demand, no? Oh. Ah, let me guess. More toilet roll? Yeah. Mum's been bugging me about this whole Kyoto thingy. Kyoto thingy? Mm -hmm. uh, I never said it was completely definite. Hey, you better than taking your chances. Using old cardboard and tree bark. Nah, don't think so. Bark. Yeah. I mean, look, I love nature as much as the next person, but got to draw a line somewhere, don't you? Such conviction, this boy. <laughs> uh, this will be one pound. How much? End of line reduction. Cheers. Nice one. And uh, thanks for heads up, Umed. Nice one there. See ya. Kyoto thing, eh? <laughs> Just doing my bit for the environment. You must get going. Kevin. I can't go to Tenerife like this. It's a done deal. I could just pretend I'm sick of someone. It's over, Molly. Well, it doesn't change anything for me. I don't care what you say. I'm trying. There was no us, according to you. What do you want from me? I feel like you're the one making all the decisions. It's like I've got no control. I don't even have a choice. Oh, I do. Is that what you reckon? Try this for a choice. You stay. We lose everything. Game over. It's as simple as that. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. Because I can't stay away. Not a chance, you know. I want you every second of every day. I want you right now. So I'm begging you. With all my heart, just. Just go!
All right. Your Claire don't mess about, does she? She's got me digging up the old yard. Do you want a brew? Hiya. Oh, yeah. oh ta. Mm. Oh, that hit the spot. I seriously have to get into shape. I keep telling her, pace yourself. How's the tooth? It's fine. You couldn't just give us a moment. Of course. What the heck is he doing here? I needed some help. I don't believe this. I turned me back for one second and all hell breaks loose. I thought you'd be pleased. You're supposed to be coming up with a plan. Well, I did. And then I put it into action. What about roping his staff in? Don't know why he's so uptight. He's not charging us a fortune. So we're paying him? I've heard everything now. You can't expect him to do it for nothing. I don't expect him to do out. Get rid of him, Claire. I really don't get you sometimes. Show him the door or I will. OK, so you've spoken to the chaplain. John, John, right, will you just tell me before my head explodes? You've put in the application already. Do you reckon it could be that soon? <gasps> That's brilliant. I thought we'd have like this long massive way. No, for the last time, no, there aren't any doubts. The sooner the better, babe. Hayley? Yeah, how do you think she reacted? Yeah. She was practically cartwheeling down the street. <laughs> She's not worried it's going to be in prison. It's the who, not the where, that counts. That's her words. Oh, oh, I should let you go. It's okay. Um, yeah, I will, I will. Um, look after yourself, eh? All right. Yeah, me too, me too. Bye, bye, bye. Hiya. Hi. Good day. All right, you? Yeah, yeah, nothing special. Right, well, I've got some more work to do. So. Cheers! Do you fancy fish and chips for your tea? Cool. Hey, you look nice. What are we doing special? Just to a pub. Did I not mention it to you earlier? Oh, right. Forget me anything wasn't screwed on. <laughs> hey, we need such bewildering lives, you and I. So where are you off to? Rovers. Oh, staying local, then? Yeah, 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 I think so. And now I'm out in the fresh air and I thought, well, fancy a stroll. That was nice to work up a thirst, isn't it? Well, it's a wonderful evening for it. Only with the right company. Thought you'd never ask. <laughs> you don't mind, dear? Do don't be daft. Only I'm a bit old fashioned in many ways. Hey, some folk might even say a little bit dull. Hey, not around me, they wouldn't. I was thinking, when we've had a drink, how do you fancy a slap up meal? Ooh, I reckon I might be persuaded. Hey, and if I'm really good, perhaps you could show us that chopper of yours. Fly boy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone needs another holiday. Hello. Right. Didn't see you there. You having a bad day? I've had worse. Where's Tyrone? Giving me afternoon off to go shopping. Oh, you're too good to that lad sometimes. Look, I, uh, better finish up here. Tonight, I'm running you a bubble bath. I'm cooking your favourite. That's just for starters. I don't need fussing over. It's the least I can do after the way you spoiled me recently. Besides, why should Molly and Tyrone have all the fun? Don't be long.
Mission accomplished. <laughs> so? You won't believe some of the clobber I've bought. Totally maxed out the plastic. Yeah. Check these out. They've even got a pocket for the thigh pod. <laughs> what else have you bought? Isn't hers water cannons? <laughs> These bad boys are the business. Lock and load, no prisoners. <laughs> Plus, is the added benefit of a possible wet t-shirt action, you know what I mean? Oh, which is why I bought you this to change into. We'll open it. And it's silk. Only the best for you. It's gorgeous. Really gorgeous. Hey, I know I've been a bit full on recently, and I should have spoke to you before I booked it, but you just wait. This holiday's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be the honeymoon you deserve, babe. decided to put the hue back into human resources. Monday Monday is next. <laughs>